everybody, Skyler here, and today I wanted to talk to you about Binance delisting five coins. And before I get started, just want to let you know I do do these news stories every single day, so if you are interested in the space and you want to get news updates, subscribing or liking is not a bad idea. But let's get into it. So I'm actually on the Binance site right now, and, it, and the coins that they ended up delisting were Cloak Coin, uh, Modem, Salt, Substratum, and Wings. Now I, I don't really know um, a few of these that, uh, that well, but I do know salt and substra substratum, substratum, um, and I'm not really su surprised by substratum. This company actually kind of has messed me up in the crypto space. I I, I kind of didn't get introduced by, but one of the first people I ever met was Data Dash, and if, and if anybody's been following Data Dash the past couple years, he has been promoting like crap this company Substratum, and 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 he actually um, he's who I follow now for TA whatever TA means in this space, but uh, he he actually promoted them and then didn't tell anybody he got paid for it he shielded them and then apologized for it after he got paid and felt bad for it whatever but then um he but then he was like i still believe in the project and and i swear i saw a video of his like six months ago four or five months ago saying he still liked this project and i just don't understand he seems so I'm I've I've been in this space for a few years. I've been I've known about it for you know since 2011 since that drop, but I haven't really I didn't really invest until a few years ago, and um, he has been in the in this industry you know in the financial industry pretty much his whole working career, and he knows and he's been in crypto even you know way before me, and he's been involved with some of the big players as well. So like. Substratum never sat right with me, but yet these people I respected said it was a great project, and I don't know. So um, this project kind of has a sore spot for me. I I actually never invested. I never even lost money. Just the whole thing of you know, essentially this company um, made me realize that I need to be careful of who I follow, advice, all that, all that sort of stuff. So. Um, I actually follow people that hate Bitcoin, that love Bitcoin. I, I try to find all walks of life to kind of, um, you know, not get too crazy in one belief. But at any rate, kind of a sidetrack. But uh, Salt kind of surprised me. Now, I, I haven't really looked into Salt, so maybe some stuff has happened in the last six months or eight months, or I don't know with Salt. But, um, a, you know, a couple years ago, they were a, a really popular um, ICO. And it was a lending platform, and it seemed like it was solid. <clears throat> um, maybe we should go to their page and actually, uh, you know, check out their their owners and stuff. But I won't go through all of these and check them out. But um, in fact, actually, I saw an article. Talking about each coin. So let's see, Cloak, ranked 371. Yep, definitely not up there. Um, it's fell 17%. All of these coins have dropped dramatically. Look at this trade volume right here. Everyone's been selling their coins uh, ever since the delisting took place. But um, yeah, 73% of its trade came from Binance. Sorry, Cloak. It's privacy coined. Doesn't even facilitate anonymous and trust list decentralized transfers. Has not had any controversy surrounding it lately. Just had significant lack of interest by the community and very little project updates. Its GitHub also shows that no development has been done for a while. All right, so it looks like this one's been deleted just because it hasn't had very much development. Mod, um, modem. Yeah, the trade volume has been kind of up and down, but heavy, heavy, heavy last 24 hours, for sure, especially since the news came out. Let's see, it got 99% of its trade volume from Binance the last 24 hours. Holy moly. It is set to revolutionize and disrupt the supply chain industry. I've heard that many times before with many companies. According to its official website, uh, but it's been stuck somewhere. There have been uh, very few big news from the team. The project GitHub has also not seen much action. So it looks like this one's also not being... 
uh, being delisted because no one's really working on it. Here you go. Salt, 161. Market capitalization is, is within the top 200. It's, it's fallen 9%, so not as bad as some of these other coins, but still pretty significant. I had a little dead cat bounce maybe right there. <laughs> um, 65% of its trading volume from has come from Binance, so more than half. So this is going to hurt the coin big time when it gets de delisted. Uh, this one, however, does have the controversy surrounding its name, as that it's a lending platform that enables you to put your crypto up as collateral in the exchange for a cash loan. Popular crypto influencer Whale Panda called this project a Ponzi scheme a year and a half ago on Twitter and in November 2018. It was uncovered by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, was investigated, salt lending, lending and issued a subpoena in February. The SEC was looking into whether or not SALT's initial coin offering was an unregistered securities offering and also into how the firm spent the raised fundings. And you know, I actually remember this, um, him saying that for now, but um, I, this is a project I also never invested into. I, I just you know, learned about it when the ICO came out and then it kinda you know, faded in the wind. I didn't really see them pop up on news very much, but interesting. And then Substratum, 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 whatever, <laughs> ranked 182. Jeez, and you know it, it dropped so much. I can't believe it. It, it was ranked. It's ranked 182 right now. Um, but uh, man, Substratum has had some issues with dishonesty and whatnot. But anyways, uh, they decreased 19 percent, presumably because of the presumably because of the Binance um, delisting. 96 percent of the trade volume is from Binance holding only the platform offer decentralized storage of information on computers connected to it as it has faced acquisitions in November of 2019 due to faking GitHub, a web-based hosting service. That is, yeah, 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 we know GitHub is. Um, there's also been claims by the user that the project holds the same vulnerability as Oyster Pearl, which could let someone mine new tokens as they spend them. So, yeah, this isn't surprising that it's getting de delisted. I feel like um, it's a long time coming, and it's one of those, like, you know, I, I keep hearing, one of the things I hear everyone say all the time, you know, even even before the, the, the big boom happened in 2017, because we've already had crashes before, but, you know, they, they would just say, there's just so much crap projects out here, we need to purge, you know, and, and most people say 99% of them. We have not purged 99% of them. <clears throat> in like 2017, there's 2,000 coins, and uh, let's see. There are 2,000 coins still. <laughs> so, you know, maybe some have left, 40% have left, 40% more came on board. I don't know. But whatever that, like, dramatic drop is, it's it's not happening currently. But this is a big one that's dropping. So, you know, if if a if a Litecoin or a you know Bitcoin Cash or a Ethereum dropped, that would be huge. Um, and I feel like Substratum was a big project that a lot of people believed in. Um, yeah, luckily I never touched that project. I didn't, I didn't like the owner of it. I just he seemed kind of slimy to me. It's like. He has millions of dollars for the he has hundreds of millions for the first time in his life. I don't know. That's such a dumb reason, but even the guy with the verge too is just like, dude, you're a slimy guy. I just I don't know. Whatever. I think a lot of what it has to take with a company to succeed is is who's running the company. I mean, obviously that's that's a, you know, an accurate statement, but you know, you you never know. Those like garage, you know, you know, basement dweller type people. <laughs> uh, anyways, whatever. I'm not going there. So, Wings, uh, ranked just below 300. Uh, dropped 60% since Binance, made up 86% of its liquidity. The project is so-called decentralization crowdfunding based on the Ethereum blockchain. There's also been no clear cuts based to foul play of the project. It all seems more general terms. So they don't really know. Yeah, they don't really know wings. Maybe it's just no one really seems interested in it. 
fails more general terms but at any rate those are the projects um, th this isn't the first time you know finance delist coins all the time four months ago they delisted uh, Bitcoin chat coin economy and triggers uh, and you know as this article mentions um, you know Binance isn't the same one so Huobi put 32 digital assets on uh, probation KuCoin delisted 10 the same time you know th this happens so it's not like huge news it's just kind of uh, you know if anyone's holding those coins hopefully we can get rid of them swap them into Bitcoin and uh, before you know they get the price drops more they get you know the just goes down to zero and it just crashes it, you know close the company whatever at any rate I'm rambling now appreciate everybody who has um, watched and you can close the video now I just want to <laughs> I just want to say so, for those people who have been watching and, and commenting I really appreciate it um, I I recently have been in contact with a couple big youtubers and they're like telling me to you know put my face out there and do some more fancy editing and all that jazz so I'm, I'm gonna start doing that um, even though I'm, I'm very uncomfortable doing that but you know YouTube is the reason why I'm getting out of my comfort zone sort of thing so anyways super appreciate everybody who's been <clears throat> following me and commenting and emailing me and all that stuff since um, and uh, and yeah and then yeah I, I do this every single day so um, hopefully every single day I missed one day this week but I hopefully I, I just consistently um, will post every single day so any news that goes on you know you'll be able to know and then eventually once this channel makes money um, I have this and a, and a fund and stuff that I, I, uh, I eventually want to start a nonprofit so um, this is my steps towards that all this money will go to you know charity I'm not gonna pocket a penny of it so um, eventually um, I would like to run it full-time that would be awesome but at any rate that's no neither here nor there appreciate everybody watching and yeah I'll see you tomorrow take care bye